guys welcome back to my channel and thank you for choosing this video in this episode I will be teaching you guys how to do some square pots just like these super beautiful and very creative so if you guys are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and also please share this video with a friend and don't forget to give me a thumbs up guys thank you so much and let's jump into it okay so basically what you guys are going to need are several things okay so now these plastic is really important you could get them at walmart also you could get these sponges at walmart as well and it's really important to get these plus another rock that i'm going to show you later on you could get it at, at dollar tree and this square box uh, maybe i am going to use it but i'm not sure it could definitely help me um and this will help me to make the the square shapes and you could get it at dollar tree and also including these this also you could get it at Dollar Tree as well and they could give you three for one dollar and then also the concrete mix that you could get it at Lowe's for two dollars okay so then additional I'm gonna get all these plastics in clear um, if you have a similar one is to make the the square shape plus these um, ceramic to for the inside of the pots and then these square um, plastic ones you could use it as well um they're similar they're both as similar they're just different sizes you know also i really want to try this out because i think it's gonna look very nice it's a plastic one and then i gather this uh bottles because it's square shape and so i think it's gonna help me a lot so guys if you got those items at home just group them up for we could start go ahead and make this project okay and so basically what I did is I grab one of the straws I cut them a little pieces right because I am gonna use it to make like a small heel under these little pots that I am covering with a plastic because once I put this inside the mix wet mix um, I want to push down and so I don't want these uh, all over it touching the bottom so I need help with this little heel okay guys so hopefully it helps and hopefully it helps you too and if you don't have the, the, the ceramic ones you could get these at Dollar Tree and it could help you the same now uh, by doing this I'm gonna show you really quick how, how I'm gonna attach these heels I'm just gonna use a little bit of tape and then I I attach them in the back just by doing this and that's it okay so now we're going to do the mix and so I'm just gonna start doing the small one and by the small one I'm just gonna use like one a cup of mix concrete mix plus I am gonna add just one fourth of water um, if you see that you put too much water don't worry about it just throw it out and don't throw the mix out just throw the water out until you get the correct mix until you see it like it like it's really good you know because sometimes that could happen um, but yeah so um, like it happened to me right now I put a little bit of water right so you just create you just could put more concrete mix and that's it so yeah and this is basically what I did so for the small pots just like the similar ones that um, that you could get at Dollar Tree or you could get the butter a cup uh, square one this one like this then you could just use one cup of mix plus one 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 fourth of cup of water and you add little by little of water until you get the corrected mix. The corrected mix is just like that one that you see right now. It's not too full of water, not too, not too much water, not too dry. And then you shake it like this, just like you see right now. And then you are going to add the small ceramic with the heel, right? And then you are gonna push down 
right just like this you're gonna push down and then with a little bit of help you're just gonna use some little rocks like big rocks for it to stay in place and then you're gonna let it dry for like seven days max minimum max yeah I think seven days would definitely do it like five to seven days is definitely going to be a great a great pot okay so a similar one I use it the same the same measurements I use to do um, this similar pot, the one that you could get at Dollar Tree. So yeah, the Dollar Tree, you can, you're gonna find these pots at the kitchen area because there are organizers, right? So yeah, so you're gonna find those at the kitchen area, they're gonna give you three for one dollar, okay? So yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, you notice that I have a little water? Yeah, I'm gonna throw that out, but it could look great. So this one, um, I really find it interesting because I really like the the uh, the shape that it has, right? And I really like it, so I want. So I was like, why not? So what I did was I grouped them together, and then those the shape that it's uh, like like little round. I just group them up together and I hide it, right? Just like that, just like how you see. For it could cover that part, and the mix doesn't um, fall. Okay, and so the same amount of mix that I used on my previous pots, uh, on my previous container, I am gonna use it for this one. The difference is that this little one is like so wider. The other one was taller, so this one is wider, but it's the same amount. Okay, so if you guys find one of these plastic, you could definitely use it and it's really nice. Now this pot right here that I'm in, I'm in putting in there, doesn't have a small heel so it's gonna be better for me <laughs> right because I don't want it to go down because this one is all the the plastic the outside plastic is smaller okay for this big pot I use three um, three cups of mix right and so and I use like a little bit more water than the previous ones I use like four to six ounces of water it's pretty much like one and a half cup of water or two-thirds of cup of water so that's pretty much um, the amount that you need to add in order to to get the correct mix now this same um, measurement of, of mixture I use for the other pot that is the butter pot that looks similar to this one and that is big right so i i use the same amount i can't wait to see the results for this project because i really wanted to do this a long time ago so i can't wait so guys i'm i'm super i'm super happy to share with you guys these projects for the big pot i am going to put inside a milk a milk um, bo bottle right is the the paper one right and so I am gonna cover it with this plastic and then I'm just gonna put some small heels right in the bottom so it doesn't go all the way through right and so I'm just gonna push little by little because I don't want to break the plastic so I'm just gonna do it little by little you know um, and I really recommend you to do this really calm <laughs> okay okay so now um, while it's drying I'm gonna leave it there for like seven days to let it dry and in the meantime I am going to uh, paint this foam in black um, because I want to cut them in shape for it could look like the, the like the dirt that is inside the pot you know because what I'm gonna do is I am going to use plastic or artificial flowers or greens right if you want to use a different color like brown that's okay now then I'm gonna add this little rock so you could find in that Dollar Tree also and maybe I will use this I don't know um, but let's see I bought this for I bought this maybe 
to see if I could use it. Now these greens are, some of them are in from Dollar Tree and the rest are from Walmart, okay? These Walmart greens, um, I got it for a dollar as well right i there were more expensive one but i'm like oh let me get just let me just see the one that costs a dollar or a dollar fifty because i the purpose of this video is to make it cheaper all right and economic and so yeah so these ones are really nice right and so this one is from dollar tree right and i didn't like that i didn't like it that much because the dollar tree plants they're not that um real like you know it looks kind of cheap so that's why i didn't decide to buy a lot of them i just buy you right and yeah <laughs> right okay but pretty much what i did is i used my cutting my wire cutter and i cut them just like this so i could put them on side of my little pots And I just want to give a shout out to all the people that just subscribed to my channel. I really thank you for your support. Right now we are to 2,000 subscribers. Oh my God, I'm so happy for that. Okay, so now seven days passed. Um, and this is how it look. I did smooth it a little bit before I went and record, right? And so the way you do this is you are going since this, since this is plastic you are going to loosen up like that just little by little loosen up right and then you're just gonna flip it right and then you're gonna press the back and then it's gonna come out really nice it should come out really nice and look at that pot look guys look at that pot it looks super beautiful i don't care about the inside because the inside i'm just gonna put the the foam that i just painted and it's gonna look nice guys if you like it please subscribe to my channel for more like this and give me a thumbs up guys okay and so this rock is a shaper stone and I got this at the Dollar Tree. You could definitely find this at the Dollar Tree. And so I'm just going to shape it just a little bit on the top so it could look nice. I don't have to shape the, uh, the outer part because the other part, the, uh, the outer part is super nice. It came out really nice, smooth and everything. And so now I'm going to do the same thing to the big ones, right? Um, really gentle. And this one came out really fat, right? But it's okay. Um, I really like it though. Um, it came out really nice. Now, I uh, after I finished this, I decided to paint them um, with um, regular paint that you paint in your walls. That's it, like a wall paint, and that's it. That's the the paint that I use, and I use white, and it's really nice. Oh my gosh, I'm a I'm so obsessed with this one. This one came out so nice. Um, I really like it. I wasn't expecting this one to look so cute. I really, really, really like it so much. And so I did the same thing. I used a sponge and then I smoothed the edges, right? So then I'm just gonna cut this little pieces of foam, right? For I could put it inside of, the, of this pot and then I glue it in place with the glue gun, the wax glue gun. I think it's really important for you to glue them um, before you start putting your plants because it's gonna move a lot and you don't want that. And for you to have a great design, just glue them in place. So now I am going to be cutting um, this wire with my wire cutter and I am going to start in the middle first with the tall leaves first and then i am going to finish with a small ones right but it could look like a really nice design and there you go it's really I, it came out really nice i really love it um after this i decided to put some rocks in it so i glue them in place with the glue gun and that's it i didn't have to use another glue right <laughs> i hope you guys do this and i hope you like it now for this small one i decided to use a cut to green 
Um, I really love it, guys. I really like the design. It came out so nice. After I finished uh, gluing everything, I decided to put some rocks as well. Guys, I, this is one of my best. This is one of my favorite ones. I don't know which one do you like the most. Leave me in the comments down below which one do you like the best, which one do you, which design do you like, and which one are you going to try it out at your house. I hope you really like it, and I hope you really enjoy this video, guys. So I hope to see you in the next one. Hello guys, thank you for watching. Please don't leave and subscribe for more videos and give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments, leave them in the box down below. You can also follow me on my social media. Bye for now.